and I'm up and I'm ready, well, getting ready to go to the gym. I thought that I would take you on a bit of a real-time, healthy morning day routine. Um, so I've got up, I've just splashed some water on my face just to wake myself up because I'm so, so tired. Um, I've got a spin class at about eight o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna show you everything that I do in the run up to that. And once that's done, we'll catch up ready for the day. So this is how I manage to get up in the morning. I lay out all of the stuff that I need ready to go. So this is my gym bag and then I've got towels. Good morning. Um, this towel is the best thing ever. It's a Velcro towel so I don't have to keep yanking it up. It just stays up. And then this is my towel that I'll use when I'm spinning because I've got an 8am spin class. These are the clothes that I would usually get changed into, but I want to show you my beauty routine afterwards, so I'm actually going to come home and do my beauty routine with you because you obviously won't be able to see me in the changing rooms. This is all of my gym kit, so you're going to see what I'm wearing in a moment. And then these are all of my toiletries. So these are the toiletries that I put on before I go to the gym, and this is everything that I need afterwards usually, other than makeup, which is in there. So I'm gonna get myself dressed, and um, then we're gonna go to the next stage downstairs, and someone is following me. Touch me. Let me know you wanted to. Don't tell what you need. This is the gym kit that I'm wearing today. I've got some Gymshark leggings on. These are amazing. These are the only leggings I feel comfortable wearing an actual sports bra with. And when you're doing spinning, you don't want to be wearing too many clothes. And this is just a Bieber active sports bra. I can't get the Gymshark one because it's always sold out in my size. Um, and then I've got some Nike trainers on. And I've just whacked my hair up in a ponytail. My hair desperately needs a wash. So that is something that I'm going to be doing today as well. And now I'm gonna do my pre-gym beauty routine. And this is my pre-gym beauty stuff. And actually some stuff that I'll probably use when I'm in the gym. So, first product I use is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Invisible Fresh Mist. This is SPF 50 and I don't really like the feeling of SPF on my face. So this is a brilliant option to get protection without the sort of stickiness. So you just spray that all over my face and that is my sun protection. And then I go in with my usual favorite, the By Terry CC Serum, and I use two pumps of this to wake me up. I didn't sleep that great last night, so hopefully this will make me more alive. That is quite a lot better. <laughs> then I brighten up my under eyes. I was using the L'Oreal palette. Then I realized that this has caffeine in it, so it really does wake up your eyes. So this one is the True Match Concealer, and I'm just dabbing a little tiny bit underneath my eyes just to wake me up. But yeah, this concealer is amazing. It like has caffeine in it, so your eyes instantly feel more awake. You can actually like feel it working. Then I go onto my lips and I'm using the Lana Lips Tinted SPF Balm. I've been using this product every single day since I got it um, to go to the gym. This is the perfect thing to pop on your lips. It's not sticky in any way. So when you're like in the gym, your hair's not getting stuck in it and like dragging it across your face. It also comes in this rhubarb shade, which is my personal favorite, which gives your lips a pop of color, but it's not an unnatural pop of color. So it's really nice and natural, doesn't look like you put on a full face of makeup. The lip tints are one of Lano's best selling products and that's because they're rich in lanolin so they're super conditioning for your lips but the sheer colour of them makes them really wearable whether you want to wear it over lipstick or whether you just want to wear it on its own which is what I love to do. Just gonna hop a little bit on there. It looks quite intense to begin with but because my lips kind of like blend into my skin really badly, this gives the kind of definition to my face. So I just look again a little bit more awake in the morning. So I've been using that every single morning before I go to the gym. And if you haven't been following me with my gym efforts on Instagram stories, I'm going quite a lot at the moment. In fact, yesterday I did a Pilates class 
and then I did a spin class straight afterwards. So I'm super on it at the moment. And this has just become a staple in my sort of gym bag makeup routine. And I've teamed up with them for this video, so I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite products from Milano, including their amazing moisturizer. That has become such an amazing product for both Ali and I. So I'm gonna tell you a bit more about that later. But for now, I'm gonna pop this back in my beauty bag and finish off my beauty routine. To be honest with you, there isn't a lot more after this. I've just got the uh, Demamiel Botanics Shine Sleep Series, but this is one of the products that wakes you up in the morning. So this is an essential oil that you just put on your um, pulse points. I just pop it here and here. Then I'm just gonna whack a little bit more SPF because the sun is coming up. And I'm just gonna quickly shove all of my stuff in my gym bag so that that's packed. Touch me. Let me know you Cooking week links up now. He sleeps downstairs at night so that they don't um, keep each other up. It's the cutest thing ever. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Go see daddy. Go see daddy. <laughs> It is usually pitch black at this time. I can't believe it. Oh my God, summer's on its way. These are my beautiful Valentine's Day flowers from Ali. He's actually not gonna be with me on Valentine's Day because he's going to Hong Kong. So these were a little early present from him and um, he got them from Maison de Fleur. They're kind of similar to the flowers that I had in my hair on my wedding day. I think that's why he chose them. But look, they don't even look real. They're so perfect, they don't even look real. I'm gonna boil the kettle and make myself some hot lemon water. So, I've got my lemon water and now I just quickly knock back my supplements. This one is, the first one is B12. This one is to help in the reduction of tiredness and fatigue. Before Christmas, I was falling asleep at my desk about 3 p.m. every day and um, since changing my diet and getting much more active, I don't get that anymore. Even when I'm like this tired, it doesn't make a difference. So that one is helping. Then we have my Omega-3. This is my least favorite one to take. This is for um, like helping your brain function. This one I hate taking. It's like swallowing a speedboat. Bah. Makes me gag every single time. <sighs> oh my God, my face is gonna go so red. <laughs> then I've got vitamin D3. This is for like your immune system. I got so ill on my wedding day, so I'm definitely taking those now. And then we have milk thistle, which is to help with your digestion and any like upset stomach. This is for obvious reasons. I was really suffering with my stomach. Um, part of that I think is to do with gluten. Like literally I would go for dinner anywhere or I would eat anything that was like rich in gluten and I would be so unwell. I don't know if you remember me posting this picture on my Instagram, but that was one of those times because it was so intense on my stomach. So this is um, my milk thistle. <laughs> I'm so bad at taking tablets. And then finally we have Optibac again to help with my digestion. I wish that all tablets were this size because this is really good. This is a daily immunity one and um, you just take one of these a day. So this is the final one that I take. Ready for um, spin class. How nice is it this morning? It's flipping freezing. It's freezing. I'm late because I had to defrost my car. There were roadworks everywhere. So you know when you're like, it could be a beautiful morning if I just slept out the window, but instead I've had to deal with light. <laughs> How do you feel about your third spin class in four days? <laughs> Attractive. This is our third spin class of well in four days and usually we only well recently we've only kind of been going like once or twice a week but we've actually really got into it we managed to get Ali to come yesterday as well and um, he was sweaty he was really sweaty <laughs> but the funniest thing was was um, I thought that our like lady area had got used to it but the more you do it like in a row it doesn't give it a chance to recover 
because it's quite those those seats are quite serious. Stop to get our Starbucks coffee for the morning. I'm very excited about this. I am back home, I've got my coffee, and we actually saw our deliciously edibles on offer. I think it was in Tesco's, I'm not sure. And we got them for a pound instead of two pounds in Starbucks, so saving money there. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'm gonna have a big lunch later on. I need to get myself washed, I need to um, wash my hair majorly, and I also um, need to finish off a blog post that I started writing yesterday, it's to go up tomorrow. He loves this blanket, this is where he sleeps every night. He knows to snuggle down. You having a lazy day? You having a lazy one? Your lazy bones? So the house is a little bit up in the air at the moment. We've got stuff waiting to go um, to the dry cleaners. So there's kind of stuff everywhere at the moment. And obviously boxes just absolutely everywhere. It's killing me. Um, if you haven't caught up on what I've been up to and why I wasn't able to vlog for such a long time, um, I'll link those down below. But basically I um, announced last week that we are moving house finally after like a year of talking about it. I was even annoying myself because it it's literally, it's like I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with the fact that um, I want to move and so it's all I think about. Like literally it is all I think about. But hopefully vlogs can now just resume and um, everything is just moving forward now it, yeah if you want to know exactly what happened just um click either on screen somewhere here or in the description box below because that'll explain everything yeah so i'm gonna get myself washed and um ready for the day normally i would do this at the gym but i can't take my camera into the gym and i wanted to um show you guys this process as well because it's all part of my morning routine so i am um I'm going to show you the products I'm going to use in the shower because there's absolutely no reason for you to come in the shower with me. Um, and then I'll show you everything that I use after the shower as well. This is my wash bag that always gets so much attention. This is just from Boots and I think you get them in like a three pack. Um, these are the hair care products that I'm going to use. This is my shampoo, my um, caviar moisture mask. This is the mask that I'm using at the moment because I've run out of the mask for this one. And then this oil. In my gym we have Elemis shower gel but at home I use this. This is the Neil's Yard geranium and orange shower gel. I love this stuff so much. In fact I can't believe how much I've used of this. This is huge and I've used loads of it. So those are the products that I'm using in the shower and when I come out you will see the products I use when I get out. But that's the door. The door's just gone. Hold on. Lumi, mind out of the way. Both of you, move out of the way. <sighs> Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> but don't wait for it too long. supposed to happen. It's been one of those mornings where nothing is really going to routine and but I do feel like this is an accurate depiction of what a routine video should be like. This is like a real-time one. When I've done my past ones I'm always showing you like 
what I do in general, but I have to do it so that we can film it so that it's not too long. Today is what actually happens and this is sometimes the way that it is. So I'm all fresh and washed. So I thought I'd run through my current morning skincare routine with you and um, then do my body skincare routine as well. So the first product that I use on my face is the Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Conditioning Cleanser. This is ugh, super gentle but not easy to open. I'm able to use this um, as many times as I need to and it doesn't dry out my skin. Next up, I use the Indie Lee COQ10 um, and I just grab a cotton pad and I kind of, I probably use too much of this but I like to saturate it so that it goes all over my face um, nicely and this I just swipe all over my face and my neck. Now I let that kind of like <laughs> dry a little bit so that it goes on nicely. Now that that's dried I'm going to use the Tata Harper Illuminating Eye Cream. This I love because it really does illuminate the eye area so I just Dab that around like so. Next up we have the Elizabeth Arden Superstar Skin Renewal Booster. A new one in my skincare routine but absolutely loving using this. And then I go in with the Tata Harper Illuminating, um, well it's all in front, ah, the Illuminating Moisturiser over the top. And then finally, we go in with the Lano Lano Lips 101 ointment, and this is a multi-purpose super balm. Um, this is actually almost finished. I personally generally use this either on my lips, and then whatever I have left on my fingers, I massage into this area of my hand because um, I do weightlifting at the gym once a week, and a lot of it is like body weight stuff, like I'm pulling myself up or um, I'm like lifting quite heavy weights, even though I wear gloves I tend to get like rougher skin here so what I'll do is I'll pop this on my lips like so uh, and this just also preps it because I get like because I wear a lot of matte lipsticks I get quite a lot of like dry skin on the inside of my lips I just uh, uh, uh. and then I massage any excess into these areas of my hand and that just treats the really dry areas on my hand some people use it as a cuticle treatment there's basically 101 uses for this um, ointment and that's why it's called the 101 ointment that's personally how I use it but it makes a great base for my matte lipsticks so I put this on let it soak in and usually by the time I come to do my lips um, it's all been absorbed and it just makes for a really good base this is great for dry like wind damaged skin especially during the winter months you can use it on paper cuts insect bites so many different things it's got no artificial fragrance or colours and it's ultra high grade lanolin that they've used for this as well. There's no parabens, no petroleum, <laughs> the list just keeps going. Also on the days that I maybe don't wear any makeup this is great as a really like natural highlighter you can just kind of like dab it and it gives you a little bit more of a glow but then I'm just getting into all of the other weird uses that I have for it. Um, but that is my face skincare done so now I am going to do my body skincare. And in between tanning at the moment, this is the only product that I'm really using and Ali is pretty much the same. Ali's been suffering with um, what's called chicken skin on, on his arms and I, I think there's a technical name and he knows it, but this is what he's been using on his arms as well and it's made such a difference. I think one of the causes of that skin condition is super dry skin and not moisturizing, but also using um, like fragrance products. This has been a godsend, especially for me as well. My skin... Um, is super dry from tanning because I obviously leave my tans on much longer than I'm supposed to and it really really does dry out my skin. Just the same as the other Lano products, this has no artificial fragrances, parabens or petroleum, it's got no mineral oil either, it's not animal tested and it is just super gentle on my skin and super hydrating. So I just literally slather myself in this and get dressed. Just for So my hair's dry and I've just popped it up in a bun on the top of my head and um, all of my, my skin is nice and soft and hydrated. 
But um, I'm not going to do my makeup and my hair with you because we did that in a previous video. So if you want to see me talk through that, then um, I'll link that down below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on a book on Audible, which I've been listening to. This was recommended to me by Sammy Maria. And this is called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. And I realised that I have kind of a thing for motivational books. Um, so I do try and listen whenever I do my makeup and my hair in the morning to something quite motivating because then it gets me ready for the day and makes me like want to do things so I'm going to pop that on. I've still got nearly four hours to listen to this book so I'm going to cue the time lapse. Where we spoken to you for a couple of hours I have been filming some bits so I needed my camera so I couldn't vlog and Ali's got my other camera so those are to finish off some videos that I have going up tomorrow and um, those will be my moving vlogs so they explain absolutely everything about what has been going on and what life has been like and world's smallest violin video playing just for me it's so weird because I'll sit here and I'll say it's been really full-on but obviously you see like five minutes of what happens in the day and I feel like I've been running around like a headless chicken not only doing work stuff but how stuff as well all of our bedding needed washing literally deliveries have been coming non-stop and um our food delivery has come i'm going to try and make myself something quick to eat um and something nutrient dense hopefully and uh then i'm going to crack on with this blog post so uh that's a little bit of an update on my day um loving my makeup today loving it i haven't worn this lip color for ages this is charlotte darling from um um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is my favourite from the Hollywood lips. And actually, I always used to suffer quite badly with um, dry lips because of this, because it is a very matte and long wearing lip colour. I've actually popped it on top of the 101 ointment balm and it's made this a lot more comfortable to wear because they were quite drying before. Not as drying as the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, but um, now, I love it, really comfortable. So um, yeah, that's what I've got on my lips today. So that's two videos that are now edited and ready to go live. We have not, unfortunately, had a chance to address the box situation. I'm gonna make myself some lunch now because all I can think about eating is pasta. Um, I am craving some carbs, I've got gluten-free pasta, so I think I'm gonna make myself a big plate of that. Maybe put some tuna in for like some protein. Let's get cracking on some lunch because we have a blog post to tackle before I head to yoga tonight. Booked myself on that, I might have to go by myself, which is scary because I don't really ever do classes by myself. I just feel very like, I need to have someone to awkwardly laugh with. You know, like if you do something stupid or you um, can't do something or um, you fall over, it's always nice to have a friend there to awkwardly laugh with you so that you don't feel so silly, especially when it's your first time going. So I haven't ever been to this yoga class. I usually used to go and pay extra and I can't do that anymore. So um, yeah, pasta it is. Stop rambling on about yoga. <laughs> I never count calories and um, for me, 
I love pasta, so it's definitely got to have a huge part in my diet. I need carbs as well, otherwise I get really tired. So this is massively helping, like eating a lot more carbs and not trying to stop myself is having a huge impact on my um, energy levels as well. Even now, it's the afternoon and I have so much more energy than I would normally do. Like the fact that I've got a class tonight doesn't make me dread the end of the day. I hope the fact that you're staring at a plate of pasta isn't doing too much to you right now, but yeah, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Ever I wondered what my talent was, it is vlogging whilst carrying a big load of washing. spoken to you for the majority of the evening um, we had a number of calls with our solicitors and <sighs> I've been running around um, <laughs> and just lots of like stuff that I obviously can't share on my channel yeah I couldn't really talk to you I spent literally like ages on the phone to them and then ages on the phone to Ali and now I'm getting ready for yoga this is my first ever yoga class at um, my gym hold on I need a hairband with her Obviously, I'm going with Carrie, which I'm really happy about because I hate doing these things by myself. Um, I have put on loads of washing today as well, literally. I've been the washing fairy. I've got some ironing to do when I'm back. Um, kind of finished off most of my work. There's just a few finishing touches that I need to do to my blog post. So I might try and do that when I get back. Um, I'm also going to take off my lipstick because I have got a full face of makeup on. I'd always feel like I look a bit weird when I go with like a full face of makeup. It's usually like my lips that give it away. So I'm going to just take this off and put some lip balm on instead just so I look a little bit less. <laughs> You're going to take this off with a baby wipe. <laughs> and then I'm just going to literally dab this onto my lips just so that they've got a little bit of colour but also a hydration. This is the Lana Lips Tinted Balm in Rhubarb. This is the one I used this morning. It's just kind of like a deeper colour than your natural lips. So it just makes them less skin coloured and uh, makes them stand out a little bit without being too... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I can hear Carrie outside. So I'm going to grab all of my stuff together and head to yoga. I'm so excited. I haven't been to like a normal yoga class in so long. Like I've done it at retreats and stuff, but... This is a proper one. I am back home after an amazing yoga session. That was so good. It's the first time I've actually, um, <laughs> got all of our washing just drying around the house. I feel so good. The only things I struggle with is I have really poor wrist strength. Um, that's the only area of yoga that I struggle with when there's a lot of upper body stuff. It's like, but um, no, I really enjoyed it. And I also met a subscriber as well, which is great. I'm absolutely starving. I don't know what I'm gonna have. You know, when all you wanna have is like baked beans on toast, but you should probably have something a little bit healthier. So I might try and make something with like quinoa or something, just shove some stuff together. tuna and avocado. I haven't actually tasted it yet so um, I can't tell you if I like it so yeah. <laughs> I've been tapping away at my computer writing this blog post and I'm actually really happy with how it's coming together. I find that when I write at night it always seems to work out so much better than when I tried during the day so I'm gonna stick with it but at the moment all I can think about is cookies. Balance is healthy and if I want to eat some cookies I will eat some cookies. If I want a huge plate of pasta I will eat a huge plate of pasta. I'm not gonna eat it every day. I would like to, but I know that that's when things become unhealthy. So yeah, I'm sat here. I'm really craving a um, cup of tea. I had the Red Bush tea from Harrods. That sounds really fancy. It's literally like three pounds, but it's just really nice. And so I think I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea with some soy milk 
and a couple of my gluten-free cookies just to be like well done me for being me <laughs> I was going to do my evening skincare routine with you, but um, I am absolutely shattered. I finished off the blog post at about half 11, and then I started packing some bits up, because tomorrow I'm shooting with Kyle Galvin. I have a couple of campaigns to shoot, so I'm sure you guys will come along with me. And um, now I'm squeaky clean and ready to go to bed, so I will speak to you guys in the morning and um, hopefully I have a better night's sleep than I did last night.